Hi Anna. Um, thank you so much for letting us speak. I mean, it's just so, so wonderful to have somewhere to, to voice what I'm thinking. I've been worried about it from day one. It just didn't make sense then. And I'm a gut instinct person and it, it really didn't make sense to me. And I spoke to my brother about it and he's uh, from the safety of his doorstep. Uh, and he just, he just didn't, doesn't believe it. You know, he, he believes the hype and he believes the fear. I have now, my mum and dad were very, they totally believed it, totally believed what they were being told. But now my mum is, um, I've got her to watch Dr. Vernon Coleman and she's actually starting to think about things a bit more rationally. You know, for example, why have all the supermarket people not dropped dead? And, you know, if you've got to be tested for something that's such a, a killer, you know, it doesn't make sense. But, but I know, I know it's wrong. And I know what's what they're trying to do to us. They're, it's all about control. You know, I won't wear a mask. And I, I do not believe the hype. And I believe it, it's all about power and control. There's a small percentage of very, very wealthy people who want to control us. I mean, that's a massive buzz for them. What more can you do when you have all of this money? What's the pinnacle? You know, to control people, to to play about with people's lives. And they're not going to get away with it because there's more of us than there are of them. And... We've got to fight back. We have got to fight back. And there's platforms like this that just show that people are awake, but people are scared to speak up. You know, it's really hard. You have to tentatively talk to people and say to them, you, you have to sound them out. But the more and more people I'm talking to, they're saying the same thing as we are. You know, we don't believe it. it something bad is going to happen to us um, if we're not careful. It's everything they want. You know, they want to stop us using cash um we can't get a doctor's appointment people are going to die because they can't get to the doctors it's wrong i'm trying to, to tell people i'm trying to 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 give people links to the different things and this now is is invaluable and i, and I will be getting my mum to look at this and my brother if if i can um i'm ready you know i will fight and i will I will go on rallies now. I've never done anything like that in my life. I'm 57. Uh, oh, my name's Amanda, by the way. But I feel like we have to fight back. We've got to push back. There's a lot of good people out there, and I just think we need to, to bring them together now. We've, we need a coherence now. That's what we need. We, we're, we're pulling together, and there's more and more of us. So what's the next step for us? We've got to do something. You know, I will do anything, absolutely anything. The kids, that you know, the older people... They are not going to have their lives trashed by these people. And, and we've got to stay strong. Don't let them get to you. Just remember there's a lot of us out there and we can support each other. Start finding out who believes what you believe. And, you know, it will help keep you sane. And, yeah, keep, keep looking at these videos. It's, it's, it's all good stuff. And just thank you so much, everybody, for, for getting on board. It's brilliant. And thank you so much, Anna.